The ref for descends. But wants to get involved as well. It is absolute anarchy out there. Rules? What rules? What did that come off? Catches crowd. The All Stars. As long as we take our revenge on the house robots. Uh, shunt. In the arena for the house robots, shunt. And Cassius Crone. Three, two, one. Activate. And two machines survive this first round battle of this the All Star Championship. And that's a terrific start by Firestorm 5. Shunt toppled. Bigger Brother helping out. The house robot in real trouble there. So too, actually, Firestorm 5 momentarily up on the arena side wall. The ref bot comes in to have a check on Shunt. Bigger Brother is nagging away. Cassius Crone fights back against Cat 3. In comes Firestorm 5. This is tremendous stuff. So much experience out there, durable machines, Firestorm 5 away, has to make amends for a disappointing end really in Robo Wars, the seventh championship, has finished third in Robot Wars, five and six, but not this time around, oh, Bigger Brother's on the pick, get off there, the pit is descending and Bigger Brother were very, very nearly got the ref box down, the ref box descends, Bring that pit back up, says the ref bot. You don't get rid of me that easily. Cassius Grove in trouble. What a fight this is. You're only supposed to fight each other, not the house robots at this stage. Oh, the floor flipper wants to get involved as well. It is absolute anarchy out there. Rules? What rules? What did that come off? Cassius Grove's in trouble. They're ganging up on the house robots. We will remember this for a long, long time. Cassius Chrome is spiked by Cat 3. Bigger Brother wants a little bit of the act. Oh! What's happened to his eyes? The eyes have it, or used to. And poor Cassius Chrome can see no more. Thank goodness he won't see himself being hoisted up into the air. Cat 3 is in there, you can see. The Tiger Stripes and Bigger Brother on the left-hand side. Firestorm 5 remaining aloof as Panic Attack has a little nudge. The message from these competing machines, quite clear. We don't actually mind who goes through to the second round of the All-Stars as long as we take our revenge on the house robots. Uh, Shunt, you're a big boy, Shunt, and Bigger Brother's only a wee, wee 98 kilo machine. Come on, write yourself. You are fighting for the pride in the name of Robot Wars. Ah, oh, the ref cap shows he's in peril as well. What on earth is going on? Oh! <laughs> the drop zone's gone off. Oh dear, the washing machine dropped. That's Cassius Chrome and the attack of Bigger Brother. You can hear the ref. ref listen, that's the ref bot groaning quite literally. Shunts toppled. How do the judges mark this, by the way? Two machines have to go through to the second round of the All Stars. On style, on aggression, on damage, but on control, has any one single machine been strictly under control out there? It's been sheer roboteering lunacy. Is there a full moon? He's baying for mechanical mayhem, that's for sure. And the roboteers, you're supposed to be taking on each other, for goodness sake. Come on, panic. Oh, no! Firestorm 5 has driven itself into the pit. Why on earth did it do that? Little Ellie Watts, only eight. She doesn't know. There's her bigger brother machine. Oh, the truce is obviously off. Cat 3 has spiked bigger brother, and at last, the competing machines are having a go at each other. There we can see the remnants of Firestorm 5 down the pit. Why was Cat 3 trying to activate the pit release? Hello? Hello? There's a machine already in there. Dear, oh dear. Insanity Wars, Robot Wars. Bigger Brother is trying to get itself down the pit. It does so. Well, now I've seen virtually everything here. And Cat 3 survives with panic attack. How? Don't ask me. Anarchy! Not to fight each other, but to fight the house robots. However, Firestorm and Bigger Brother drove into the pit, which means the Cat 3 and Panic Attack, they go 